switched from the laser radial to match racing because I had won a gold medal and that was my dream and now I was looking for a different challenge and the match racing throws out a completely different challenge. It's a different type of sailing, different type of racing. Instead of racing long course thinking, long time strategy, you have to be really quick on your toes and think very fast, think two moves ahead, um, try and outsmart your competitor rather than try and position yourself better than your competitor. So it's a, it's a new challenge and it's uh, something that's very exciting for me. I decided who I was going to sail with based on experience really and um, personalities. You know, going into a campaign, you spend a lot of time with these people and so you want to be someone that you can get along with and that you're friends with and you have a good time with. And, you know, I've been sailing with Molly um, for on and off for three years. We've been doing match racing events together and we've gotten along really well during those events and so we'd known each other for a while. And then sailed very occasionally with Debbie, but Debbie and I went to school together so we'd known each other since we've been in school. So when the opportunity came about and it was, uh, well, if I did this, would you guys be interested in sailing with me? They both said yes. And then um, they said, okay, we're gonna match race in this quad. You need to make a decision on what you're gonna do. Um, so it's like, okay, if I wanna sail with these two people that I know I get along with, we have very similar personalities or personalities that get along with each other. Um, it was kind of a decision that I had to make, it, whether it would be something I want to do, and I was like, yeah, you know, it's something different, something challenging, let's do it. Over the years, I'd been sailing with, I'd been doing a couple events with teammates, and then going back to my laser radial, and now that I've committed to sailing with teammates all the time, it's a bit of a transition, it's, uh, there's some hard parts in the, ch in the change, but uh, a lot more fun parts and rewarding parts in it. Um, being able to share the experiences with teammates and make the decisions with them, and uh, sharing the success with them is a lot of fun. Um, the hard part is that it's not all about me anymore. It's, you know, there's a lot of compromise that has to go into a campaign. Um, and so it's a bit of a learning experience, but we're learning quite, I'm learning quite fast. And luckily my two teammates have come out of team campaigns. So they've already been in the team aspect. So they've been helping me a lot and offering me some advice where I need some. When we entered the match racing, um, all of us, I think, entered at the same level. So we're all learning the game together, um, which is making, I think, is an advantage for our team. Um, you know, when you have a team, one person knows more than the other, you have almost like a, somebody overshadowing everybody. But as, since we're all even, we all know the same amount of knowledge, we kind of all build off each other and learn the same. So I think it's a, it's a big benefit for us because there's no like, proven leader in what we know. It's a, a team effort to help us grow. Outside of the World Cup, we are trying to do as many events as possible. Um, primarily, we'd like to do more events on the open circuit and race against the co-ed teams, or mainly men teams, um, mainly because they've had more experience match racing and it's usually generally a deeper fleet, so we learn more. We're not interested necessarily in our results in those events, it's more learning what we can so then when we come back to these World Cup events in the Elliots, we um, can bring our experiences in and hopefully apply them to the situations that we're in.